Well, what do you do when you get a phone call saying uh, batteries are dead in the remote? And you bring some batteries over. And you get a call about 15 minutes later, nothing's working, piece of junk, uh, all these batteries are dead, TV's not working. You go over there and uh, try to figure out what's wrong, why nothing works. And uh, you find out that, well, somebody ploppeth the rumpeth upon us, the channel changer. And guess what? We got a repair for you guys. Today. This ain't, uh, anything to do with, uh, horsepower. But it has a lot to do with keeping the mother sane, which keeps me sane, which is, well, you know what I mean. <laughs> you know where I'm going. Anyway. She broke it. She sat on it. Cracked it, made cheap junk. I mean, look, I'm not even putting any force, but I'm gonna try to fix it. So, first thing you want to do is take it apart. Second thing you want to do is you want to find the chipboard. And remove it. Circuit board, chipboard, whatever. I guess there ain't one. Well, there's one chip on there. But... All right. Actually, you know what? I need a better background. Hold on here. Let's, let's move you guys over a little bit. Is that better? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's get these out of the way. Okay, now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find the place where, well, it got sat on. And in that case, it just happens to be right here. Hmm, freaking phone, freaking camera, come on. Okay, so, that piece broken right there also broke the stranding in the circuit board four places including across here but I'm gonna try to fix that okay yeah so you get the idea right there there's a good view of it I think yeah anyway You're going to want to expose that. Now I want to show you a little trick because these two strands are really close together and they're going to be hard to solder. So, let me show you a little trick. Grab yourself some Canadian chrome on a roll. Duct tape. For you guys who never knew. Most of you probably did. But what I did was I and exposed both strands because they need to be soldered. There's one way to do this without soldering them together. Put a little strip of tape across and you want to be careful when you remove that tape because if you're not you'll lift the copper stranding off the board and you'll really be screwed. So Let's see if I can get that little strip soldered. You can see it right in there. Right above my thumbnail. Right there. A tiny little area. And then I got to do the one under the tape. So, anyway. Soldering iron's nice and warm. She's on full tilt. I always got her taped off on full tilt. Because I ain't got the patience to wait for it. Gonna need a little more solder there, I think. Oh, yeah.
just wrecked my brand new box. Brand spanking new. Eagles just dropped it off from Summit. Okay. If you don't do this, the mother's going to drive you nuts. <sighs> Maybe you already know. Man, this is not working very well. But they don't want you to fix these kind of things. That's why they do that. And lo and behold, this outer strand is the positive feed. And the inner strand, the one I'm trying to solder, is the negative. So, without those, you ain't got a room. And there you have it. That is such a bugger to get soldered together. Because that is super fine. <laughs> And you got about ten thousandths clearance between the two strands. Like right here is your positive. Here's your negative. And if you look, or yeah, positive, negative, yeah. And if you look, that little strand goes this way. It goes all the way down the side of the chipboard. Powers everything right there. So when you break those two, your remote's junk. But let's see. I got one more solder job here. Right there, you can see the crack right above my finger now. Right there, yep. I'll show you how to scratch that off, cover the other side with tape, and try to fix that one too. So, hold on. Okay. Just get yourself a little knife of any kind or type. And what you're going to want to do is just gently rub this part on each side of the crack till you remove the green covering. And once you get that off, you put tape on your fresh fit repair and solder it. But anyway, hold up. All right, so. Cleared off the covering for the chipboard. Now I'm just going to tape over my, my other repair right there. Yeah right above the fingernail and then fix that repair hold on and this is where I use a little piece of duct tape cover your fix that way you don't wreck it or join them and hold on there's the piece of tape covering the first repair now all I'm gonna do is just basically take my soldering iron and just quickly give it a quick rub back and forth and that should repair it like these other two up here. I mean, these ones are good. Do go. I'm actually, well, yeah, that should be good. Now let's have a closer inspection here. Make sure they ain't cracked. Where's the camera lens here? Oh yeah. Look at that, quality repair. Solid bridges. Okay, next. All right, so, managed to get it on. Uh, the tape was more in my way than anything, so I just had to r run the iron back and forth with a little bit of solder gently and just, you know, keep going till the line separated and Hopefully that's it. Let me uh, try her out and see if she works here. Hold on. Oh, yay. The old grandma's TV here. Let's see if we got any happening here. Oh, I think we got. Oh, yeah, we got her. Nailed it. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Okay. Try the volume. Nice. Ah, oh, yeah, it's fixed. Right on. All right.